Hi, welcome to part two of our motor testing, uh, low voltage and low rotation testing from my washing machine. So, uh, on part one, I tried to run the motor using this um, winding coil. Let's call it coil number one, and this is coil number two. So. <coughs> By the way, I forgot to explain to you on part on the part one what's the function of this one. So this duct the tachometer we we are going to test the motor. We will not be using this one because this is used by the board of the washing machine to determine the speed of the motor. Then uh, that connects to terminal number three and terminal number four. As you can as you can see, and the terminal number one has no connection at all. Then this is the switch as you can see it's a switch symbol but it's actually a thermal switch which protects the motor again from if, if it uh, reaches a certain heat of the motor it will trip this one and it will stop the motor from rotating and what you can do is you need to replace the motor or uh, rewind it you need to go to the rewinding shop here in the Philippines there's a lot of rewinding shops so you can easily uh, repair your motor at a cheaper price so that goes on terminal number six and terminal number seven that's connected to the board for protection and then on terminal number eight and terminal number nine that's the armature okay this is the brush and this is the armature okay and the terminal number 10 is that that's connected for the coil number one okay so right now uh, at part one of this video I showed you how to <coughs> rotate it using coil number one and right now we're gonna be using coil number two I'm not sure um, why do we have two coils in here um, what I think but I don't have a proof for that because I don't have proof for that because I don't have a diagram of this is that <coughs> coil number one is used for forward rotation and coil number two is used for secondary rotation please comment if I'm wrong please post your comment and suggestions if I'm wrong with my with my what am I my idea regarding that uh, but we will continue now on testing so what I'm gonna do is put the line number one at number uh, line number one at terminal number one then it will go to coil number two going out to coil number uh, to terminal number five then going in to terminal number nine then terminal number eight will be the line two okay so terminal number one here's terminal number one then it will go out at terminal number five the jumper I'm gonna arrange this it's really hard to do this at one hand so please bear with me <coughs> okay I'm gonna connect this to terminal number one this terminal number one two three four five okay I'm gonna put it in here okay there you have it then going out at terminal number five then going in terminal number nine okay five six seven eight nine okay here's terminal number nine okay there you got it then the line number two will be going at terminal number eight okay now let's try to connect it okay okay I see some sparks in here and you can see that the motor is now rotating at clockwise. You see, you see that? That's a clockwise rotation of the motor. Okay, now I will try to connect. The just using the same coil I will try to reverse the rotation by <coughs> after it's the turn the it goes out of terminal number five instead of going to terminal number nine I will connect the uh, the jumper of connector of terminal number five to number eight and 
the line 2 will be at terminal number 9 let's see if will that that will if that will reverse the connection ah the rotation i'm sorry okay so i'm going to get the terminal number 9 <coughs> and connect it at terminal number 8 then terminal number line 2 to terminal number 9 okay let's test it let's see if it will, it will rotate at counterclockwise oh there it is you can see it's rotating at counterclockwise mm. the first test is was rotating at clockwise because the armature was uh, on the other terminal now another i will do another test what i'll do is i will be sorry about that i will be <clears throat> again i will be connecting terminal number one then it will go out at terminal number five this is the this is the first connection that i've done uh, what i'm saying number one going out to number five then going into number nine then the line two is terminal number eight now what will i do is uh on the part one i did this the terminal number one is the line one then it will go out to terminal number 10 and go to terminal number nine the line one will be at terminal one still and the line two will be at terminal number eight still but what will i do now is i will change the coil just to see if this coil is the one uh, affecting the rotation of the motor okay so i will fix the terminal number one here and the terminal number eight <coughs> okay just remove that for a while <coughs> terminal number eight and here okay now i will fix that and i will not do anything on that what will i do right now also i'm gonna fix by the way i'm gonna fix terminal number nine in here And I will just change terminal number 10 and number 5. I'm gonna interchange that. Let's see if it if that will rotate change the rotation. Okay, I will fix today. I will, for now I will fix the positive terminal. Line number one in there. So let's try it. Let's connect it first at forward. Let's see. As you can see rotating at counterclockwise see that again yes that's counterclockwise on terminal number 10 and then let's jump to terminal number 5 yeah that's right now it's rotating at clockwise rotation Clockwise rotation, then counterclockwise. Oh, counterclockwise. And clockwise. Clockwise. Counterclockwise. Clockwise. Counterclockwise. Clockwise. Counterclockwise. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> so as you can see, uh, I think what I think of this was right. That this coil number one and coil number two is responsible for the rotation. Maybe there's a relay in there because if we only put a relay in there, uh, I'll draw it. So to explain it further <clears throat> line number one then number eight is line number 
two. And number two, okay? Then we'll have a relay in here. <laughs> I'm sorry for this one. It will be a little bit. And I get the, the common terminal in here. Okay. And to number five, then terminal number ten in here. So if we go just we'll just energize line number one and line number two. And if we want to rotate the rotation of this motor we just trigger this relay here and of course it will change the rotation because it will interchange its uh, coil okay so that's it for now it's been 11 minutes i don't know it will if this will still fit on youtube so have a nice day everyone please comment and any comment and suggestion you can put it on the link below so i'll show you again the model of the motor before this is the brand is welling and uh, the mo the model is oh there you are hxgm2i this is 220 but since i can't test it right now 220 i'm just testing it for low voltage uh, 12 volts 7.2 hh battery thanks for watching and have a good day again bye